actually, uh, that zero is supposed to be, uh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry? This call may be monitored or recorded. Thanks for calling Tech Support. For problems with your computer or security questions, please press 1. For tablets or other devices, please press... Thank you for calling. This is Richard. How may I help you? Uh, hello, Richard. Um... My name is Daniel, and um, I have a pop-up uh, that came up on my computer that says I should call a number. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Uh, may I know that what were you doing on the computer when you got this pop-up? Um, I think I was going to Google. Okay, it's on desktop or laptop, sir? Uh, it's a desktop. Okay, just look onto the desktop keyboard. Okay, and find for the control key, CTRL key. It will be on the left and bottom corner of your keyboard. Okay, uh, I see that. Find. Okay, just beside that, there must be a four flag sign logo key, the Windows key. Find uh, that? Yeah, I see that. Okay, listen to me carefully, sir. Do it slowly, but do it perfectly. I'm going to give you some troubleshooting steps okay so with one of your finger push that four flag those button down okay and do not release it push it down okay and with another finger tap the R key R as in Roger from the keyboard oh, okay you get on your screen you must be getting a box on your left hand side of your screen oh uh, yeah I get a little run box Yes, sir. Uh, do you see there's a blank space in that run box where you can type in something? Oh, yeah, I see that. It's totally blank or something written in it? Oh, uh, it's blank. Type in there. Everything should be in lowercase. Type in there. H, H, space, number one. All right. What have you typed in? Just tell me. Uh, I think I have H, H, space, H, and 1. No, sir. H, H, space, number 1. Oh, okay. Two H's, put a space, then number 1. Alright, I got that. Now click on OK, sir. Okay, a little thing came when it says HTML help. Just maximize that box, sir. Just maximize that thing. Expand it. Oh, okay. You expanded it? Yeah. Okay, just see at the left and top corner of the box. Say that there is an HTML help, right? At the left and top corner. Yeah, I see that. Like that, there must be a yellow question mark, right? Uh, yeah. Click on that yellow question mark, you will get a drop down list. In that list, find for an option called jump to URL. It will be the second last option in the list. Uh, find yep. that? Yep, I found that. Click on that. Okay. Click on jump to URL, sir. Okay, a box came up and it says HTML jump to H URL. There's a blank space where I can type in. Uh, yep. Okay, just type in there www. Dot okay. Support S as in Sierra, U as in Umbrella, P as in Peter, P as in Peter, O as in Orange, R as in Roger, T as in Tango. Okay. 
after that give a period dot okay then me m as in michael e as in echo me okay now click on okay let me know what do you see on your screen okay okay i think him up and it says rescue by lock me in So you do, could you see the logmein one two three dot com written somewhere? Uh, it says rescue by logmein, and it says support connection. It, it requires six digit code, right? Uh, yep. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. May I know your age, by the way, if you don't mind, because we don't support minors, because you sounds quite young. Uh, I'm 24. So may I know your age? All right. So you are the one who can take decisions about this computer, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, you are the only user of this computer, or anyone else uses this computer? Uh, it's only me. Uh, the code for you would be seven zero three. Uh, 736. Just put this number in that the space. By the space. So it's 703. Have you typed in, sir? 7, 703-736. All right, I got that. So I click Start Download. Yes, now click. Yes, click on Start Download. You see on your screen, let me know. Okay, a box came up and it says global tech support. Click on accept. Okay. Have you clicked on run? Uh, yes, I have. Okay. What do you see on your screens? Okay, it says a, te a technician will be, will be with me shortly. I should tell you that this call and the remote session is getting recorded for quality and training purposes, okay? Oh, okay. You'll we'll getting an OK option on your screen. Just click on OK. All right. Okay, now it says uh, remote control start up. Okay, sir. Support two. I should tell you that we, I should tell you that we are successfully connected to your computer. Okay, so you can see that I'm hovering the mouse on your screen. Oh, uh, okay. That's that, that's me. Just move your hand from the mouse panel. Let me see what the issue of your computer. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, this is the message that you're getting, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so as I see, uh, it's in quite uh, right error, sir. And according to your system configuration, I'm assigning a level C technician on your computer. Okay, do not worry. His name is Damien. He's the best technician out here. He will be resolving your issue. Okay, do not worry. Just be on the line. Be with me and transfer this call to Damien. Oh, okay. Could you transfer me a little quicker? Thank you so much for your patience. This is Damien. How are you doing today, Daniel? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing pretty fine. Thanks a lot for asking. Um, just, just uh, I'll be asking you, just, uh, how did you manage to get this BSOD on your computer screen? Um, 
I think I was going to Google, and uh, this came mm -hmm. up. No, what BSOD actually is, in, in technical terms, known as the blue screen of death. It, it's a Windows prompt screen. You have uh, too much of junks coming in into your computer, and the, the operating system feels that uh, it, it's no longer in, in, a, in a safe condition uh, where it can operate uh, safely. That's when this BSOD comes up, which actually blocks the user from uh, using the computer any further so that the internal damage that has already been done is not magnified in any way. Oh, okay. You said you are browsing on the internet, right? Uh, yes. You could you exactly let me know what kind of sites were you trying to get into at that point of time? Um, well, what do you mean? Which site were you trying to get in? Uh, I think I was just going to Google it, and this came up. Um, uh, I got this global tech support thing that came up. Yeah, just click on OK, please. Oh, okay. Just go through this so you have a better idea of what BSOD is actually. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, that, that picture there doesn't look like what what I got. Just just something which has been cited out here, okay? Oh, okay. All the BSOD and all the errors which are related to BSOD uh, doesn't necessarily have to be the same thing, okay? Oh, okay. If you have a DLL server registry failure, uh, uh, it, it, it always doesn't mean that it would be the same thing. You, you, DLL register server failed uh, for some reasons. Maybe something else would happen to somebody else for the amount of junk that is coming in, okay? Always not mandatory that uh, you would have the same kind of uh, problems on... Can't even close his own pop-up.
you generally do on this computer? Could you tell me, please? No, I, I do mostly emails on this computer. One of your internal files, which is in uh, very close proximity with your hard disk drive. And... Uh, You've almost got 219 of these malicious files, which has already got into your operating system. And uh, these are not even traced by any of the antiviruses because the, uh, they, they are not, uh, and none of them are .exe files, as you can see. These are all .pf and .db files, and that's why they are creating much of a havoc onto your computer. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. So what's part about, about them? I'm talking about these files that you have, okay? okay? These are all junk files which are getting accumulated onto your computer. So, couldn't you just delete them? Yeah, what we need to do is, uh, since they have, they, they actually hit directly into the hard disk drive of your computer, we would go ahead and scan them out from your system and uh, uh, actually eradicate uh, all the probabilities of these kind of uh, junk files coming into your system any further. Oh, okay, so you, you just so you can't delete them. So. This can't be deleted manually, but the problem is, even if I go ahead and delete them manually, they they have a re-entry on your system. Okay, what we would do is we would not only go ahead and remove them, we would also provide you with the security so that these elements do not have a chance of a re-entry onto your computer. Well, if they like. Re-enter does not, uh, you know, I might think that they're supposed to be there. Sorry, I could not get you this time. Yeah, if if they just come back after you delete them, uh, I I feel like they should be there. Like they're supposed to be there. But they're not. Uh, do you think your your uh, computer should have junk files? Well, you can delete. Those jump files, couldn't you? Well, you yes, can we can. That, that's what I said. We can go ahead and delete them, and not only that, I can also provide you with the security that would make sure that these junk files do not have a re entry onto your computer. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. We would need to also fix up some of the uh, DLL registry servers which are, have been affected. So this would actually go ahead and uh, require a technical intervention right at this point of time. And uh, this would actually cost you a one-time payment of $169, okay? So uh, are you ready to go for it? I go for what exactly? Like, I don't even know what a, a, a DLL server is. I'm not sure. I'll tell you. Paying for a complete technical assistance on your system, which would make sure that your computer is junk free right at this point of time. And it is also initiated with a couple of security softwares that would make sure that your computer does not have these kind of uh, uh, re entry of these kind of junk files onto your system. That is what you'd be paying for. You have your DLL registry server failure. We would also go ahead and fix them up for you. What server? That is what you'd be paying for. I don't have a like a website where I have to have a server. Talking about this, this is an internal program of your computer. Read this yourself, and you'd have a clue. So, like, could you show me that on the computer? Because I I never seen it before. Want to get into the programming part of your computer? That's that's not, that's not uh, what we would do right now. What do you mean programming part? It's you said it's a program in my computer, you know, like Internet Explorer, Google Chrome. Those those are programs. So is that a program? The DLL exactly. register server? Internet 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 Explorer, Google Chrome. Those are not programs. Those are search engines that has been 
associated onto your computer so that you can actually have a easy access to the internet okay those uh, are web browsers you have those kind of search engines okay i'm not those are search engine those okay google is a search engine internet explorer is not a search engine it's a web browser what, what are you trying to tell me it's a web browser what I'm trying to tell you is that you have some issues on your computer which needs to be fixed up right now. If you'd like to go ahead and uh, do it, we can go ahead and help you do that. Oh, okay, let's, let's, let's do that. It would cost you a one-time payment of $169.99. Are you, are you ready for it? You know, that, that price still seems very high for for this something this small I don't I don't I don't, I don't can't, can't I just can't justify like that's all that money oh hey hang up why hang up got a call hello Hey, uh, this is Adam. I'm the senior registration officer. I will be helping you to complete the registration. All right. Oh, okay. So, which card are you gonna use for the registration? Uh, what card are we talking about? Well, we accept Visa, Master, and Mr. Discover. Uh, you talking about payments? Yes. Okay. Uh, that would be, I believe, hundred sixty-nine dollars ninety-nine cents, uh, which will cover your computer for one month of unlimited technical support which I will make sure that this pop-up will be wiped off from your computer and all the security of your computer will be up to date so that in future you won't be facing this kind of problem anymore. Sounds good to you? Okay. Alright, I have so a visa. You got a visa? Oh, yes. You got a do you got a card in your hand? Oh, yeah, I'm getting it out right now. All right. Service my box. Uh, do you see my company name that is service my box uh yes i see that okay this is the toll free number where you can get back to us whenever you require any kind of assistance for your computer this is a toll free number you don't have to pay for the call and as well you can email us uh to this particular email address that is support at service dot com and all the informations will be confirmed into your email we will be sending you all the confirmation email regarding the same okay? Oh, okay you can see this like you're getting unlimited technical support for one month as well as well you're getting a managed security which will be good for long one year now this is a protection which will be there in your computer which will act as a virus protection which will act as a malware protection adware protection and and the adware protection spyware protection everything all right all right Give me a moment, I will be helping you out. Yeah, your system is running slow. Is it takes long time to start up? Um sometimes. Your computer freezes at times? Uh not not really. Oh, you're getting pop up. Yep. Okay. And I believe, like, uh, uh, like uh, while we take your uh, take your uh, computer access, uh, I believe you have aware that we are working on your computer. Uh, Am I correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Well, you need to just give me a moment.
you're going for one sixty nine dollars ninety nine cents. This is the price which you're taking care of it. It's only one time, no recurring charge. Okay. One year of managed security. This is a protection which will be good for one year. Okay. Okay. Service spirits. Okay. I I want you to type your first name. Fill this information, please. All right. Put your valid email because we will be sending you the receipt order, confirmation email, everything. Okay. That is your home phone number and your cell phone number. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I only have a... Do I have to fill out both of them? Uh, which one you have? Uh, the number which we are talking right now, is it a home phone or a cell phone? Uh, it's a home phone. So put your home phone. Okay. Uh, actually, I want to give uh, my, my cell phone instead. I didn't get you. Come again. Uh, I'll just put down my uh, my cell phone. Okay, no problem. No hyphens. No hyphens. All no all number together. Okay, so it's straight you put address. your home phone number, the number which we're talking right now, put the, put that number as a home phone number. All right, let me let me find that number. Okay, is this the number? Uh, which one? Uh, that is six zero one three zero eight one eight seven four. Oh yeah, that that's the one. Okay, type that number. All right. Should I tell you the number? Oh, what was that? Should I tell you the number? Six zero one. The the number which we are talking right now that is six zero one three zero eight one eight seven four. Uh, is that it? Uh, I just got this phone, so I I don't know the number. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Put your mailing address. Oh, okay.
Okay. Check the name which is appears on the card. Is that correct? Um. Uh, yep, that's correct. And middle initial, middle name. Oh. Uh, no. Okay. If you authorize me, I can stay back and I can help you out while you put the card number. Is that okay with you? Is uh, that fine with you? Yeah, that's okay. So put the card number. Okay. Which month? Okay, this is my part. Just give me a moment. Okay. Click on submit. Now, do you understand that you are making the payment of $169.99 to service my box? which is an independent service provider and there is no association or affiliation with any other leading brands in any way. Do you understand that? Oh, so, so this is not um, Microsoft? Should I repeat it? No, we are nowhere related to Microsoft. We are independent service provider. Okay. However, we support all the leading brands. All right. Do you understand that clearly, sir? Yeah, I understand that. Thank you. And $169.99, which you're making the payment, that is only for one time. There is no recurring charge. All right? Okay. Now, I want you to type your, I, I want you to type your signature. Oh, okay. Now click on I accept. Click on submit payment. Please wait. Authentication fail. Please check some of the information might be wrong. Check your card number, sir. Um, Is that correct? Actually, uh, that zero is supposed to be... Uh There we go. Sorry? Uh, yeah, I fixed it. Because you're a scammer, right? I'm not. Oh. You sure about that? No. Oh, you're not sure if you're a scammer or not? I'm not a scammer. Uh, you, you just said you're not sure if you're a scammer or not, so... <laughs> so why are you wasting your time as well as my time? Well, your time deserves to be wasted because you're scamming people with your with your pop no. over here. Oh, look, it says no. It says Windows alert. You said you're not really to Microsoft. Well, this pop up is implemented by oh, your oh, computer, it it not says contact us. Microsoft technicians at this number. That's your number. You're, you so said that's you're not what Microsoft, I said. I clarified that we are not Microsoft. Yes. This says contact Microsoft, but you just said you're not Microsoft. So okay. who are you? You're a scammer, right? Well, I said, I said we are global technical support. But this says Microsoft. Does it not no, say Microsoft? We are this not is Microsoft. Microsoft. Okay, that is Microsoft. You, you see that? So better you take your computer to a local store if you're not comfortable over the phone. Well, you're you're a scammer, so I don't have to take my computer anywhere. I'm not. Yes, you are. You know you Thank are. Thank you. You you're not welcome. Thank you. Look at it. You see it? Can you see it? Can you read it? It says you're a scammer. Are you a scammer?
Oh damn it, he's hanging his hand up. <laughs>